Good morning, everybody. All right. So part two, this is the actual lesson for today. Let's do this. So if I were to say Z is equal to negative four plus five I, W is equal to negative one minus two I, what is Z plus W? Well, what do you do? Z plus W, uh, can we see that? Let me use a different Sharpie. If I say Z plus W is equal to what? Just negative four plus negative one is uh, negative five. And five I plus negative two I is three I, right? So then what do you do? Here, where is my Z? My Z is what? A negative four plus five I, so this is it. So this is my Z, and let this, uh, real quick, let this be uh, five I, right? And this is a negative four. And then where's my W? W is uh, negative one minus two I, so it's just negative one minus two I, so this is my W. And then where would my Z plus W be? It would be uh, negative five plus three I, so it would be negative five plus three I, which is right here. And that's my Z plus W, okie dokie. So we've done this before, but let's say, let's look at it a different way. Here, these are the three points. Let's look at it a different way. Here, if I have negative four plus five I, well, okay, let's do that again. Negative four plus five I is right here. This is my Z, okay? Here, where is my W? It is right here. It's negative one minus two I, negative one minus two I. And now instead of doing the algebra where I just add them up, what I could think of this as from my Z, I can go left one down two. Because here, negative one, when I go over here, when I have some A plus B I, my A goes left and right. My B goes up and down. So here, from Z, from Z, let's go left down, I'm sorry, left one, down two. If this is my Z, left one, down two. And then bam, I am right over here. But look, this is Z plus W, okay? And that's a very bad color. Let me do this again. This is Z plus W. And notice that this is my vectors Z plus W, but it's the same as if I had it right here when I did my algebra, okay? And these are my vectors. And it's the same exact thing. You see, here, this is algebra. This is geometric. This is doing using only geometry. You see, left down, left one, down two. All right, let's try another one. Let's say if I have negative four plus five i and negative one minus two i, right? Now it says z minus w. Well, let's see. What is z minus w? This is... Uh, negative 4 minus a minus 1 becomes negative 3 and 5 minus a minus 2i just becomes a 7i. Okay, uh, let me just check real quick one second. Equal to negative 4 plus 5i, w is equal to negative 1 minus 2i and this is z minus w. Well, let's do the same thing. Let's do the algebra. Where is z? Z is in the same spot, right? Z is negative 4 plus 5i, which is right uh, here. Right? Let's just put a 5i here. Uh, this is my Z. Where is my W? My W is same spot, so it is negative 1 minus 2i is right here. That's my W. Now, where is my Z minus W? It would be negative 3 plus 7i, so this is it, it's right here. And this is z minus w. Okay, that's my point, it's negative three plus 7i. Well, let's try and do this geometric trick with z minus w. And before we do that, we need to implore a little trick because here, I said left one down two, but 
it won't make sense because here this is plus and this is negative. We want to have plus here. So here we need to put a little trick. Sneaky trick by Mr. G. Let's go. If I say W is equal to negative 1 minus 2i, right? We had what? We had z minus w. w is equal to negative 1 minus 2i. What is negative w equal to, right? If this is w, right? w, what is w? w is negative 1 minus 2i. So if I do negative w, I just put a parenthesis of negative on the outside, and now I have 1 plus 2i. And notice that we can take this little trick with us here. So let's see. If I have, uh, for this question here, where is my z? It's negative 4 plus 5i. So this is negative 4 plus 5i, and this is my z. Where is my negative w? Okay, where is negative w? Negative w is 1 plus 2i. This is 1 plus 2i, this is negative w, and we put it over here. And then what was z minus w? What did we get for z minus w? It was negative 3 plus 7i. So this is negative 3 plus 7i, which is right here. This is z minus w. And now let's see, does this work? Here, how do you translate this? This is, remember, this is going left and right. I go one right, two up, because this is positive two. Now look, from Z, look what happens. One right, two up, and then bam, you have Z minus W, and it worked. The goal of this lesson is to change from looking from algebra to change it to some geometry. Okie dokie. Um, what we'll do is let's do another practice example. Let's actually go through the book. Here, let's go to your book. If you go to page S.19, let's do number two. Here it says in the opening exercises, we computed Z plus 2W, right? They're talking about these problems here. The Z is still the same and my W is still the same, right? Now here, it's saying same idea. What they want you to do is Calculate Z plus 2W geometrically. So here, where is my Z? Let's see, Z is same spot. It is, uh, here let me get this a little bit better. Okay, this is, my Z is negative four plus five I. So negative four plus five I is here, this is my Z. Where is my W? My W, well here we don't have W, we have 2W. So what's 2W equal to? 2W is equal to, just double this, so negative 2 minus 4i. So here, what I want you to do is, where's my W? It is negative 2 minus 4i. So negative 2 minus 4i is right here. This is my 2W. And notice that this is my vector here. This is my vector here and now follow the rule 2w is telling you to do what from the z we're gonna go from the z we go left 2 left 2 down 4 and where will that be left 2 down 4 left 2 1 2 down 4 1 2 3 4 bam and this is it. This is z plus 2w. And this will be the vector. This is how you do it geometrically. But if you said, hey, Mr. G, I want to do it algebraically. Well, okay, if we do the algebra, we better get, and by the way, where is z plus 2w? It's, uh, where is it? This is negative 6, right? So it's uh, negative 6 plus i negative 6 plus i. Notice we're going to get this negative 6 plus i when we do z plus 2w. Let's just do it. Let's just check it algebraically. What is z plus 2w? Oh, wait a minute. You already did it over here. It was negative 6 plus i. You see, you already did z plus 2i. I'm sorry, z plus 2w. 
You see, it's negative 6 plus i, negative 6 plus i. You already did it in the opening exercise. Wow, Mr. G laying down the tricks. Okay, let's look at this one, z minus z. What does that mean? Here, for this one, z minus z, z minus z is the same as z plus negative z. This is still the same. This is little sneaky trick. The same little sneaky trick I did here with the W, I'm doing it with the Z. So let's take a look. What is my Z value? It's negative four plus five I, and then it's going to be plus a negative Z. So this is, um, what is Z is what? Z is equal to negative four plus five I. What is negative Z? Negative Z is four minus five I. So then how do you translate that? This is uh, right four, that's right four, down five. Okay, well let's do that. Here, if I have, where is z? Negative four plus five i. One, two, three, four. This is negative four, five i. One, two, three, four, five. And bam, that's it, that's z. Okay, well let's follow. Remember, Z, what's the translation? It's right four down five. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And then you do, where do you get to? This is uh, Z minus Z. You get to where? You get zero plus zero I. And this is my vector. It's going this way and it's going that way. Okay? And notice, this is geometrically, but look, algebraically, you got the same thing here with zero plus zero i, all right? What I want you to do is ignore this. This is a, a weird problem to do. What I want you to do is try and do uh, this one and this one. Try and do these questions, okay? I'll see you in class.